T to the V to the L to the I to the N to the E TV line. Brian, talk to us. Give us the latest on uh, the talks to find Hannibal a new home. Well, we know that there are a couple of suitors that that haven't turned out. We know it's not going on Netflix. Netflix, Netflix. That's what we're calling them now, since they're not picking us up. I'm Netflix. shocked Netflix wouldn't take them. <laughs> uh, not going on Amazon, and so you know, I think that the the funnest thing for all of us, we would love to do a feature film if that's possible. And Martha has the feature film rights and the feature film experience, so get on it, Martha. Well, <laughs> I'm on it, Brian. You're a little busy recently. <laughs> yes. So yeah, we would we would love that. We don't know what's happening with television. We don't know if that's if that's going to pan out. Um, you know, everybody is going to be moving on now that their their contracts are are being released. But everybody is also invested in coming back should it works out work out. So we know that Maz and Hugh are very dedicated. I've read in interviews. Yeah, he so. keeps saying it, <laughs> <laughs> and it's true. So uh, we Thank just you. cross our, our fingers and hope we get to continue telling the story, because when you have a cast like that, it mm -hmm. seems a shame to let it go. They're all movie stars. So why not make a movie? Will episode 13 serve as a fitting end if it needs to be? What do you think? I believe so, yeah. I, th I think that should that be our farewell, it would be a fitting one. Um, but you could have said the same thing about the end of the first season and the end of the second season. Um, uh, so, so yeah, I mean, it's, it, Brian has described to me what he had envisioned moving into in the next season, which would be justified by the way we end this, you know, this year. Um, but but it's, it, it'll be um, it, it's, it's, it, it'd be a big splash, I think. Will, uh, this season's really been struggling with sort of succumbing to his killer instincts a little bit. Where do, where is his that old thing. <laughs> where, where is his mindset after the flash forward? After the time jump, as yeah. we go into Red Dragon, um, he, he has made a definitive effort to, um, to, to absolutely uh, get away from that world and specifically from, from Hannibal and, and um, make a clean break. And he's married. He's mm -hmm. married um, a lady who has a child from a previous relationship. So he he has a family. He has he has a kind of uh, he's in about as good a place for twenty minutes or so as as <laughs> we ever see him. Is it weird disconnect to be playing those domestic scenes? I haven't seen it, but I imagine there are some. <laughs> well, fortunately, um, uh, the uh, my my wife Molly was played by Nina Arianda, who's a, a wonderful actress and b a, a great friend of mine, and we worked together before, so that really helped having a you know kind of shorthand um, because it's n not a lot of time. I mean, I, I would have loved some kind of three episode of arc arc of like just Will and his home life, but of course you know, we, we get into it pretty quickly. Um, so what we did have we, was kind of condensed into just a few scenes, really. And it's fun to see that dynamic with, with you and Nina because you see what Nina, as Molly, brings out of Will Graham, which is a levity. She makes him laugh, and you're just sort of like, well, what's, his, what's, his, what's his face doing? Oh, he's smiling and laughing. <laughs> How strange. So it's, it's a neat yeah. change. Molly, that was her name. <laughs> I was thinking of a slow burn. Kill number three. <laughs> right. Richard, did you do any preparation to sort of get into the mindset of this character? I mean, you're playing an iconic, <laughs> evil, He's heinous completely killer. Method. Yeah. He um, murdered family. <clears throat> Great. As research. Yeah, it was, I, I kind of just went with, went with the book and obviously looked at the series as well because knowing where your little component is going to fit into the style of a of a piece like this was, was quite important. Um, and giving me the invitation to take the character physically somewhere that that wasn't necessarily in the book was was a um, was very tempting so that was the work that I did really and Brian you said if the show were to go on the uh, this the next season would focus on deeper deepen the relationship between will and Hannibal there's something in the <laughs> one of the books that uh, is something that hasn't been adapted in any of the previous films. So I would love to unpack that, as it were, for for Will and Hannibal. What is it? I can't tell you because it's it's hinging on the finale. That's okay. What do you think of the the finale? What did, the final? What do I think? Of what it? did you think of it when you read it and when you? <sighs> um, you know, it's difficult because I feel like we've we've ended the, the first two seasons both ended on such a high. You want to kind of recreate that, but you don't want to be competing with yourself, you know. And and I think that we got to a 
a kind of justifiable, a different form of conclusion between Will and Hannibal and Dollar Hyde as well um, that was justified and that will be very satisfying. Um, but I mean, it was a it was a big, big episode. It was a big episode to film physically, in lots of ways, just 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 logistically. So it was um, it was like really the final crest of the of the hill.